Hey folks, here at OS Reviews. So if you're curious about the Canonico Ubuntu operating system and you still want to keep your Android OS along with your data, you don't want to risk it all in this new OS, there's a way of dual booting it, at least if you have a supported device. So if you own a Galaxy Nexus, a Nexus 4, or a Nexus 5, you have the ability to install a dual boot application that can easily toggle you back into Android at any time simply by powering the phone completely off and then powering it on again. If you want to return to Ubuntu Touch, just tap and launch on the dual boot app and you're back into Ubuntu. So it's pretty cool and uh, innovative as well as easy to use. And more importantly, it doesn't require you to install directly from a Ubuntu terminal or a computer running on Ubuntu, which is the typical requirements for installing. So you can just do this process on a Windows or a Mac computer very easily, which is Nice. Um, if you run, if you have a, another type of Android phone that's not crafted by kind of the Nexus line, you can probably still try it, but it's not guaranteed to work. And uh, there is community support that's growing for a number of phones out there, but again, it's not as surefire nor as tested as a Nexus or a Nexus 4 in this instance. So let's power this phone completely off since uh, let's say I'm tired of this operating system and want to now try and boot into Android. I'm going to show you guys that when I power this phone on again, I should be greeted to Android OS 5.0.1 Lollipop instead of Ubuntu Touch. So indeed, we've now booted back into Android OS, and if I want to go into Ubuntu Touch again, I would just tap on the dual boot uh, app that you see I've installed on my phone, tap on that once, and it instantly launches back into Ubuntu Touch. So next, let's go through the process of how to actually install everything and get it working. So there's actually two files that you really need to uh, run Ubuntu's dual boot uh, program. The first that you want to install is install is an app that's called Super SU. But in order for Super SU to run, your phone needs to be rooted. And there's actually quite a few tutorials. I'm going to put a link in the description below that I found. It's a one-step rooting process that's very simple, and it also automatically installs Super SU along with it. So after you just download this, this file on your computer and you just link up your phone while it's in recovery mode, and then you click on run for the file that you downloaded, and afterwards your phone has been rooted. Um, you open the phone back up again, you find that SuperSU has been downloaded. You can just tap on it and you can see that everything in SuperSU is working. Afterwards, you just need to install this Ubuntu dual boot app or APK. Again, it's another link that you can find. Uh, how I did it was just simply drag and drop this APK, which is a program file, into this phone's memory. I booted my phone up again and then I opened up a file manager that I had in my phone, clicked on the um Ubuntu dual boot APK and then installed it on my phone. Next, I simply opened up the Ubuntu dual boot app, uh, you know, downloaded the operating system. It takes about 30 minutes to download from uh, a list that you just select, download, and then afterwards you click install, it takes about five more minutes, and the next thing that you know, it's in Ubuntu's touch operating system. So the process itself is pretty straightforward, but it's also something that requires a little bit of experimentation. I searched up a few tutorials online first that claimed this easy one-step process would do it, but it didn't work uh, at the time because my phone wasn't rooted. If it's unrooted, it seemed that Super SU wouldn't run, and if Super SU doesn't run, it's important to note that Ubuntu's dual boot won't work. Even if you install this APK first and you try to click on install, it will download the operating system, but it won't install it. So again, super SU and rooting is critical here. And when it comes to rooting, again, it requires a little bit of um, your tutorial work as well, but it's not that difficult and you have to make sure that your phone is rooted. Uh, otherwise, again, super SU won't run. So that's basically the emphasis um, on this part. Let's summarize this. So step one is to root your Nexus 4, and you want to try something like CF Auto Root because it's the easiest, but any method will actually work. So I just simply googled this, and you can see that the first one that popped up for me was this tutorial, and there's a lot of options out there that they all seem to work decently. But I just clicked on this one, and this seems to be the easiest since it also installs CF Auto Root along with it. And basically what you want to do is install, um, uh, download the file that they have for you here, so you click on the download link, it's going to send you to another website where you can download the file, it's about 700 megabytes, and you want to unzip it onto your computer. Um, you want to link unzip it and then you find it in the file manager on your computer as well, and afterwards you connect your Nexus 4 by USB to your computer, and also boot it into the uh, bootloader mode, so you can press a sequence of controls after powering the Nexus 4 off, you tap on the power key plus the volume up and the volume down to access the bootloader menu, and after you're in that state, uh, 
in the file, the folder that you just downloaded, click on the uh, run execution and afterwards it's going to just root your phone. It's very simple, it should take just five minutes um, and your phone will reboot back up and it's been rooted and SuperSU has been installed. So next, after what you would do is just to install the Ubuntu Dual Boot APK. Just Google this again and you should find links for it. You just want to download this file, you want to drag it onto your phone. There's a number of ways that you can do it. You can do a quick boot and install it just from this quick hot screen. Or if you want to install it uh, in a file manager, you would again drag it into the phone's internal memory, power the phone back on, use any file manager of your choice. If you can't find a file manager, you can download one from the Play Store, and then click on the .apk file that you just downloaded and dragged into the phone's memory. You can find it, click on it to install it. It will install, click on the app that I showed you guys before, and uh, it will download you know, the operating system and then install it. That process again takes about 40 minutes and you're done. So pretty simple and, and easy easy once you figure it out. So anyways guys, that was a closer look at Ubuntu's uh, dual boot option as well as how to really quickly install that on your phone. Thanks for watching here at OS Review.